All right, my question is, when I start working, how do I use tax tables to calculate the monthly tax I have to pay to SARS? Cool, thanks for the question. It's an important question. It went like this. When I start working, how do I use tax tables to calculate the monthly tax I have to pay to SARS? We all need to know this because we're all going to work one day. And fortunately for you guys, you won't have to work it out yourself. Your boss will be sure to work that out for you. But it's important to know how much money we're actually paying. So let's start with what tax actually is. When an employer pays remuneration to an employee, the, the employer has an obligation to deduct employee's tax from the remuneration and pay the tax deducted to SARS on a monthly basis. What this basically means is that when you're employed by someone and they pay you a salary for the work that you do, that employer is obliged to take money off from your salary and pay that to SARS and that's your tax. In most instances, the employee is obliged to issue each employee with an employee's tax certificate, which reflects, amongst other details, the employee's tax deducted. Uh, so you're meant to get a certificate, and this is meant to tell you how much money has been um, deducted. And this has been split into what we know as site and pay. What do these words actually mean? So employee's tax is deducted during the tax period from the 1st of March to the 28th of February of the following year. Site is the abbreviation for standard income tax on employees. So this is not an additional tax, it's merely an alternative method for, for determining liability for normal tax. Site is the portion of employees tax that is applicable only on the annualized net remuneration of up to 60,000 Rand. And the determination of site is done at the end of the tax period and may represent only a portion of the employees tax deducted during that year. So basically what this means is that site is the portion of tax that they calculate off your annual income of 60,000 Rand per year. So if you earn, you have to earn 60,000 Rand or more to get taxed and that would be your site which is determined at the end of the tax period. The balance of employees tax is then after, the, after excluding the site portion and including employees tax on the remuneration represents your pay which is your pay as you earn and that's what you earn. What is the UIF, the Uninsur Unemployment Insurance Fund? This is an insurance fund that provides short-term relief to workers when they become unemployed or unable to work because of maternity, adoption leave or illness. So if you fall sick, if you fall pregnant, your UIF that you pay actually with your tax comes and helps, uh, gives a little helping hand and gives you some money for a short period of time. So this is our table guys, this is the tax table for the tax year, uh, March 2009 to February 2010. And this is our rates applicable to individuals. As we can see on the left hand side here, we've got the taxable income. The right hand side, we've got rates of tax. So if you earn zero to 132,000 um, Rand a year, you pay 18% of every one Rand. If you earn 132,000 to 210,000, you pay 23,760 plus an additional 25% of the of any amount above 132,000. You then also have, if you fall into the tax bracket, uh, 210,000 to 290,000, you pay 43,260 plus an additional 30% of every amount over 210,000, and that's how it goes. Um, for the rest of the table. So there are certain rebates and these are just discounts. Yes, we get to the good stuff. Um, this will be in consideration when we calculate, when you do our whole calculation of our salaries and we have the primary rebate and additional rebate for people over 65 years old. And these are the amounts we look at. Okay, let's look at an example. Sandra is 68 years old and is retired. She invests wisely while working and she earns 235,000 Rand from all her investments per year. Determine how much money Sandra gets out per month. So what does this question tell us? Well, it tells us that she's 68 years old, she's retired, that's important to know. It tells us that she earns 235,000 Rand a year um, and they want to know how much money she gets out per month after tax. So what do we know? We know that she earns 235,000 Rand a year and that means she falls into the third tax bracket which is 210 to 290,000. That tells us how much she pays. It tells us that she pays a standard 43,260 plus she pays an additional 30% of any amount above 210,000. Okay, so she's retired. She no longer pays UIF and her annual investments tells us that she falls into the third tax bracket. So this means she must pay 43,260 Rand and also she must pay a, uh, an additional 
3% of all the amounts above 210,000. So what do we start off with? We start off saying, how much is above 210,000? What does she have to pay? So we take the amount that she earns, which is 235,000, we minus the 210, and we get 25,000. So that's the 30% that she has to pay. That's the amount above 210,000, is 25,000. 30% of 25,000 is 7,500. So that's what she needs to pay in addition to the 43,260 rand. So that tells us that she has to pay tax-wise 50,760 rand. But there is hope because she gets both rebates. She gets the primary rebate, which is the primary discount that's standard, and she gets the additional one because she is above 65 years old. So the primary rebate is 9,756, and the additional one is 5,400, meaning she gets a discount of 15,156 Rand. So the total tax payable is 50,706 minus the rebate, which is minus the discount. That's 15,156 rand, and that means she pays 35,604 rand in tax. So now we've worked out what she's actually paying in tax minus the, the discounts that she gets. So now we know that with the full package, being 235,000 minus the tax, 35,604 Rand, she actually pays 199,396 Rand. But if you remember, the question did ask us how much she pays monthly. So we're going to take that amount and we're going to divide it by 12 to get our monthly amount. And we now know 199,396 divided by 12 is 16,616 Rand and 33 cents that she pays after tax and after all the discounts. Okay, so it's a bit of a process, but as I said, your employer is gonna work this all out for you. And I cannot go and work out anything more, but we do have our Moby School friend, which helps you with everything. That's Mix It App uh, forward slash Moby School. Check it out, it's your portable friend. But that's not it from me. We have a second lesson coming up a bit later. So we'll check you out. Question is for today. How do I calculate the amount of VET of an item if I know the price, including VET? I'll tell you, and the question went like this, how do I calculate the amount of VAT on an item if I know the price, including VAT? Okay, what is VAT? As we saw from that little uh, game before, VAT is a value-added tax, and this is levied on the supply of all goods and services rendered by registered vendors throughout the business cycle. It is the government's second biggest source of income. VAT is, is also levied on the importation of goods and services into South Africa. So it is tax on goods and services. However, the standard rate of VAT is 14% in South Africa, but certain suppliers are exempt from paying VAT. Let's look at an example. Bronwyn receives calculators to sell in her stationery shop. The calculators do not have the 14% VAT added. Her retail price before VAT is 125 Rand. Calculate how much the calculator will cost with the VAT added. All right, there are two ways that we can work this out, guys. And the first way is that we can calculate 14% of the cost price and add this to the, the final price to get the, add this to the cost price to get the final price. Or what we can do is the following. We can add 100 plus 14 because 100 represents our whole amount. The 14% is the 14 from the whole amount. So we add 100 plus 14, 114 multiplied by the cost price, which is 125 Rand. If we, if we have 114% multiplied by 125 Rand, we get 142 Rand 50. So that is our final amount. This is a concept that we need to use to find the amount of VAT if the retail price is known. So if we know the retail price is 142 Rand 50 and need to calculate the VAT, we set up an equation as follows. We know that the VAT is 114%, well VAT is 14% and we calculated it from 114 because that's the whole amount and the VAT. So we say 114 multiplied by the original amount, that is the 142 Rand 50. And if we take that original amount and we divide it by 114, percent we get 125 rand so we now know what the cost price was now we can work out um, our VAT if we take the final price and we minus the cost price we know that our VAT is a hundred uh, is 17 rand 50 okay let's look at another example quickly 
A slab of chocolate costs 17 rand and 10 cents, including VAT. If VAT is 14%, how much is the VAT? How much are they actually paying for that slab of chocolate VAT? So we, as we did in the previous one, it's original amount multiplied by 114% because that includes our VAT is equal to 17 rand 10. That is our equation. And now we know if we divide our 17 rand and 10 cents by the 114%, we know that the cost price was actually 15. Rand. Now we take our final price, which is 17 Rand 10, we minus the cost price, which is 15, and it gives us 2 Rand and 10 cents. So we know that the VAT off that slab of chocolate is 2 Rand and 10 cents. All right, guys, that's it for me today.